Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome to a, another episode of I Ain't Gonna Say Nothing, but where we copy, or no, where we cover some good, relatable topics to, you know, we're not gonna say nothing, but let's talk about it anyway. So if you're new to the channel or even new to the video, make sure you like, comment, and also subscribe, you know, whether it's to Second Look Productions or it's to the sarcasm and orgasms, or I ain't going to say nothing, but so thank you so much for watching and tuning in and let's get into it. You something else. Um, a lot of good stuff has, has happened over the last week since we were last all together. So, uh, we'll just kick it off like this. So, we all have been anticipating the return, return of the man himself ever since, you know, this happened. And so, when that happened, we was like, okay, what the hell is going to happen? So, Will Smith came back and brought us another movie, um, Emancipation. Yes, this movie right here. So I'm going to give my take on it. Um, I ain't going to say nothing, but Emancipation, it was a decent movie. I enjoyed it. I watched it. I sat there um, on Christmas uh, as well as, you know, Merry Christmas to everyone out there for all those who are watching and listening. Uh, I sat there and watched it on Christmas. You know, it was a good two hour film and my takeaway from it was I I love the cinematography of it. Um just the direct the the direct the director and what he was doing and what the they was trying to get across. Um there were some good and there were some bads. The good was just the overall uh the overall story that was being told what they was trying to get you to understand now this takes place you know during the time period of when lincoln freed the slaves or abolished slavery you know when the whole emancipation proclamation act happened so the north and the south were fighting to keep slavery going while well, the south was for it the north was against it for those who don't know their history so they were trying to you know keep this intact where they still wanted slavery to go on but of course they didn't want that to happen now what i one of the things that i loved about it while i was sitting there watching is it kind of gave you almost this this gray scale type of feeling like when you're watching it it doesn't go into full on depth colors like there are a lot of scenes and a lot of shoes to where it gives you almost sort of like a little black and gray type of scale and then there's some there's some scenes here and there that it shoots to where it there's stilts of there's color and there's other stilts to where it's not. It was really good. It was shot very well. Of course, it was shot by director Antoine Fuqua, who directed probably a really great film um, like The Equalizer. Uh, what are some other ones he done? Um, Training Day, of course. So he was he did a wonderful job will smith did a great job himself by depicting this character that was based on a true story and it was a great time it was it was a nice um it was it was a nice movie to sit there and watch and to sit there and learn about you know things that you know about but you don't know about that is not talked about like that is one of the things that is not talked about during black history month um or even the history books about what has happened we always tend to gloss over you know uh achievements like little known black achievements in history that should be more and more talked about and more have more focal point on to really know that it's more than just our mlks our rosa parks that you know really did good for you know black people in general there's little known black people who did who had their own contributions to make it to make such a huge focal point like we we only focus on maybe a handful of people but there's other people who have done more for the culture quote unquote than we know 
this film it was great i enjoyed it out of 10 i want to give it i want to give it a six a solid six because it did very well uh it was a little bit long-winded because there were just some parts that were just longer than others that it could have did without and it really could have cut the one time a little bit less than it actually was i mean overall from a film standpoint it was a great it was a nice film to sit there and enjoy and watch um this could have been one that you can sit there with your children and say hey take a look at this because this is a part of american history of black history that needs to be talked about in a relative sense for us all so we can all know about contributions of people who are not well known just like others so if you do get a chance whether you're watching through you know apple tv or you stream it through wherever you get it just sit down have a look watch it because it is a it's a nice piece of work it is a uh it is one of those films that it'll make you look back and really revisit you know what you was being taught and why you wasn't taught about it because we're only taught what you know people want us to know but it's almost up to us to really go out there and find out about these stories that no one ever wants to talk about so go check that out emancipation it was a it was a good film from will smith you know it's will smith's film back ever since you know the oscar uh slap happened across the world <laughs> as every as everybody likes to put it so go check that out and you know have a good time with it so i ain't gonna say nothing but emancipation that was a good one emancipation uh really really put you in the mindset of Anybody can do anything. It just takes it just takes a person willing to say no, I'm not gonna stand for this anymore and really try to uh uh really try to make do well not make do, really try to make a stamp just because someone's fighting for something other than themselves. So go check that out. Well, I ain't gonna say nothing, but Violent Night, oh my goodness. Now this movie it it really brings another element to when we're talking about Christmas movies that can be memorable, can really give you that good feeling that, you know, Santa Claus can be more than just this jolly old man who, you know, is bringing joy to everybody. So I don't want to give it away. But what I do want to give away is Violent Night is one of those movies where you'd be like, damn, is Santa ever going to be more than just this guy who's depicted as this fat white old man with this white beard and can do more than just deliver presents well in this movie this nigga was delivering delivering ass kickings not only with his sleigh but a sledgehammer a sledgehammer and some candy canes yeah he used candy canes just had to remember that um viral night was a good movie i enjoyed it i watched it twice like i i streamed it and then I was like, well, I want to go see this again. So I went to the movie theater and I checked it out. And it was even better. It was. Uh, you guys need to check this out because Violent Night can be one of those movies that I really think can stand the test of time to where it's one of those you want to watch and just enjoy. Now, I say it's like this because there's always this debate that goes on when it comes to Christmas movies. Like, is it a Christmas movie or is it not? Like, we all... We all like to think, well, not all of us, some of us, depending on who you are. If you ever watched the first Die Hard movie with Bruce Willis, you'd think like, well, is Die Hard really a Christmas movie? Because yes, it happened during Christmas, but it didn't. So, Violet Night, it actually happened on Christmas Eve when he was supposed to be out delivering presents. And just the opening scene was just fucking gold like you got santa claus sitting at a bar getting liquored up before he's about to deliver presents to everybody i mean if that is not pure fucking gold then i don't know what is so the writers who actually sat there and just be like yeah we're really gonna push the envelope on this one man i give kudos to you i really do because this one oh i am enjoyed it so so fucking much that it was like it was just it was straight gold and then now it's like um 
and that was like you want to have like original stories like this and it is always good because we're always finding these damn movies where it is the same premise every every time every time they come out nothing ever changes so i ain't gonna say nothing but violent night was one of those movies that was original that made it seem like people actually thought about what every scene was supposed to be what every where every character was supposed to be everybody followed through and in some cases it wasn't um it, it's almost like you you did not you knew you didn't know what was going to happen next it was always a surprise every single scene that was coming from the next one to the other so the transition phases through each and every one man it was it was so good i enjoyed it it was funny it had some um comedy to it as well you know a little bit of drama of course because it's white people on christmas so what do you expect but i ain't gonna say nothing but violent night man man Something else. so fucking good else. so fucking good so i ain't gonna say nothing but getting old sucks because we don't want to get old we're told by our our parents by our grandparents like don't get old you stay young forever um and it's almost like that's them saying that enjoy shit while you can enjoy your freedom while you can because once you become Oh, adulting fucking sucks. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows adulting sucks. You can name anything when it comes to adulting, and automatically you'd be like, "Yep, I was told that." Um, paying bills sucks. Uh, having to go to work sucks. Being responsible for shit that you're not supposed to be responsible for sucks because it comes within adulting and it's just like i didn't sign up for this i really did it like we all want the glitz and the glamour to where we could just we see these stupid ass commercials and we see these um these uh these other people who make it seem like being an adult is worthwhile the fuck is not who the fuck wants to be an adult 24 7 to where you have to worry about countless things over and over again i would love to go back to being a teenager to where all i had to do was worry about getting my ass up going to school and coming home doing my homework and maybe just maybe figuring out if i want to go out hang out with my friends get in some trouble you know maybe smoke some dope smack some asses and then just call it a day i mean it's all in the same 24 hours you get the same 24 7 that i do but it's all about how you deal with it but dealing with being an adult yeah that shit sucks it really does i just i wish and i'm saying me personally and for those listeners out there you might you might feel the same way i wish we just had like some type of stoppage in time to where we could just go back and enjoy one or two or three years or whatever you want to do to enjoy yourself to really just hone in on what you what was most what was most enjoyable before you really kick shit in the high gear and you started to become an adult because once we fucking left high school it was over it really was that was when the real world started and then even then it really wasn't the real world for a lot of people because you got people that are still in their fucking 30s still living at home so they're not an adult they're just they just look like one i mean let's just be honest i mean i ain't gonna say nothing but people who still live at home like you niggas need to get out you really do how are you still at home and you ain't never been nowhere how are you still at home and you still saying oh i got roommates be quiet so they don't hear us come in like what are you tripping it's time for you to go seriously go out get your fucking own and just be a man there's it's not that hard i'm gonna say having a a sense of freedom it is great but then paying for that freedom mm, yeah not so much i mean yes being an adult does suck but then also being an adult it teaches you about uh certain responsibilities and certain things you need to know and do to be able to have the best adult life you can while you can i know we are all in this uh this time to where we think we can live our best life but sometimes living our best life also means living a safe uh 
a safe life because we all want to be able to walk outside of our door go to where we're going and then be able to get back to our home where we have our peace where we have our serenity and still be able to close our eyes and wake up to see another 24 like ice cube said but then sometimes people are not so lucky so yes adulting does suck but then adulting doesn't have to suck because if you just do what you're supposed to and don't go looking for trouble trouble won't find you i mean let's just be honest adulting does suck but adulting doesn't have to suck if you just don't complain about it people complain about the most stupidest shit ever but it still happens so i ain't gonna say nothing but adulting does suck but it doesn't have to suck if you just live it how you want to and how it's supposed to be don't complain about it and shit you'll be good so just think about that I ain't gonna say nothing, but hmm, Netflix, wow, it's over for people. Yeah, yeah, it is definitely over. Um, so remember back in the pandemic when uh <laughs> where Netflix couldn't figure out how people how couldn't figure out how there there was such a steep decline in viewership but then people are watching more and more and more well according to a article um that now netflix is is starting going to start implementing a stop uh, stop password sharing so no longer can you share your password with anybody so i from what i understand and what i read that now they're trying to implement something to where you put in you sign in you put in your password and then you have to uh click a little icon or something like that nature and then you can't share your password with anybody else on that device that you're on so you can't go over grandmama's or big mama's house and then share your password and then go back to your place and then log in because it's just going to stop gate that all together now right now they are starting to uh they not haven't rolled it out in america but they are rolling out in other countries as to you know to get it together get all the bugs out and see what's going on but probably in 2023 yeah that shit is gonna stop it is actually gonna stop to where we can no longer share our password with anybody i mean i know i don't share mine with nobody because hell i don't even watch netflix like that anymore i'm just paying for the shit and when i do watch it i'll watch something maybe once or twice and then it's fucking over but yeah uh so i ain't gonna say nothing but people netflix and eh, they're catching up to you you scammers they really are so if you're out here scamming people and trying to get their password to watch netflix watch whatever you want to watch you best just stick with streaming and you know figure that shit out because sooner or later <laughs> that's just gonna come to an end because netflix is sick of it yes they want their money but they want all their money not just some of it so you better figure that shit out real quick <laughs> real quick i mean from my understanding they will have like the the little basic ones to where now they're gonna like implement commercials but i don't understand why would you want to put commercials doing someone streaming like that makes no sense why do that that is so stupid no one wants to fucking watch commercials while we watch netflix unless we you know we're watching what maybe like paramount uh hulu you know those have commercials or you know even youtube but who wants to have commercials while we're in the middle of watching you on netflix like really really it makes no sense so i ain't gonna say nothing but y'all best to watch out because netflix is coming for those people who are now well who have been sharing their password because they're about to crack down on that shit real quick so thank you so much for tuning in and watching another episode of i ain't gonna say nothing but i'm your host will if you like what you saw make sure that you like you comment and you subscribe to the channel so you can always get your daily dose of talking about whatever and then get your daily dose of sarcasm so i'm your host will man and i will talk to y'all all next week you something else.